Hello, gentlemen. How's it going today so far? Good, good. good. Nice to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Um, first of all, congratulations. What an amazing, amazing movie. And Anthony, holy mackerel, winning that TFCA award must have been, I, I, I think, maybe one of the more important awards in your life, huh? That you've gotten? Yeah, I mean... It... It is, and yet you know, it's funny. I was, um, I was actually just in the middle of a, a TV, a shooting a TV show. Yeah. Um, and so it like we were in the middle of shooting, so I was exhausted. Like, my brain was anywhere but you know winning awards, and then yeah. suddenly, I get a message from one of my producing partners going, "Congrats!" And I was like, "For what? What, what, <laughs> what happened?" And then all of a sudden, my phone just blew up, and. Um, I was like, oh, right, right, that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, no, it's 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 amazing. It's incredible. And it's like the thing that's so, you know, incredible about it, too, is that it's it's the Toronto film critics. And, you know, we are of West Coast Vancouver film and Vancouver production and um, that they would that they gave us this 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 acknowledgement over to of Toronto's most famous directors. Um, well, you're in there, my friend. I mean, I know you're. it's a West Coast production, but we love you. We love the stuff that you do. So congratulations, well, well-deserved. I mean, Ethan, you were there that night. I was I was there sitting in the back, you know, watching everything. But I, I gotta tell you, my God, your performance in this is beyond fantastic. And I wanted to know when you first got the script from Anthony, you know, how did you find it relatable? Like, did it scare you a little bit to take this on? Because I understand it was your dad who kind of pushed you and did a little bit. <laughs> well, thank you for saying that. Thank you I, for, you know, I, I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, it, I wouldn't say it was scary. It was definitely a challenge because, you know, I realized I had to tell this personal story of Anthony's and, you know, um, you know, so many other people had are relating to this and people my age and people, like my dad as well who grew up here and he um he's you know he 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 mentioned to me first that this script is like so amazing yeah and uh, i had to do it and I, I realized yeah like this is this is a once in a lifetime opportunity um and it's you know it's a privilege to play this character and um yeah i just felt like you know it, it was something that really had to be out there um you know i didn't care how how, how it was perceived or how or how when i just wanted to do it yeah. um just wanted people to see it and um yeah, it's been a journey so far. <laughs> yeah, people are seeing it, that's for sure. You know, Anthony, I, I got to ask you, I mean, what a, although it's, you know, based on a, you know, set with a Korean family, there's nobody who cannot relate to this story. You know, my parents or my grandparents came here as immigrants, same same thing. Um, but the focus, you know, her, her devotion um, to work so hard to make a life for her son and, um, and and her frustrations. I mean, it's everything of it is so relatable. How scary was it for you to kind of sit down and put this down on paper? You know. Actually, yeah. I mean, the the writing stage was probably the the most challenging part of this whole process in regards to you know the nerves of you know being nervous about telling a story that is inspired by my own life, um, yeah. and I was most insecure about it. Um, and one of the things that I did worry about early on was that because it felt so personal and felt so Korean, you know, it, it was it was about a Korean family and Korean, you know, the connection to Korea and the people there and the culture, the food, the language um, that I thought, oh, am I alienating audiences? Am I am I? trying to make something that only Korean people will appreciate and not yeah. even Korean, Korean Canadians. Um, and so it's been a delightful surprise. Um, and I'm, and I gotta say, I'm still just kind of shocked at how well it's been received in certain countries. Like when we went to Marrakesh, Morocco, yeah, the people in Marrakesh, the, the, the screening there, what the two screenings we had there were probably the most impassioned reactions to the film that we'd ever seen more so than Canada, more so than Korea, even. Wow. Uh, and, and, and I was going like, what, what I don't understand what, and we talked to a lot of people and we talked to a lot of 
Moroccan people who said, you know, our family values, our relationship with our parents, it, it's so similar. Our, our relationship to food and, right. and home, it's all so similar. And, and there is a big uh, population of people in Morocco apparently are displaced as well yeah. um, from different parts of Africa and Europe. And, and so, you know, that's, that's the kind of stuff that when I was writing or when I was making it, I, I could never have imagined. Of course not. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, like I said, it is, it is completely um, relatable. I, I, yeah. I just, Oh my God, boy, did it ever bring me back to a lot of things too. Um, Ethan, you know, tell me a little bit about your collaboration with Anthony. I, I mean, I, Seriously, what a gift to work with this guy. Come on, right? Anthony, yeah. you can start blushing now. It's all good. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it, it was a privilege, and I felt like it was just so, so life-changing to me, um, especially as an actor. You know, I, I never really worked on something that intimate and that that close to me as well. Um, so I feel like both Anthony and I were on the same page with 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 how important this was to us. And, uh, you know, most of the time when I work with directors, uh, you know, it's very distant um and you know most time I have to go along with the script and things like that and you know there's no issue with that but I just felt like with Anthony it was more there was more of emotion and there was more authenticity I'd say in the performances and um yeah like it was it was so great and so fun um I really hope I can I can get to work with Anthony again or you know get to work in on a on a on a project like that again it'd be great Contact yeah, I mean, people. <laughs> what's, what's that, Anthony? Get your people to contact my people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just just yeah. let them. Yeah. I, I think you got a little bit of an in now, so I think it's all good. <laughs> but you know, Ethan, for you, like to even what he goes through. Um, on the one hand, it, you know, he he's still he's growing up. He's a teenager. He's going through that teenage angst as well. In addition to having an immigrant mom who is. I don't even want to give it away for, for people who have not seen this yet because there's things that happen throughout and, and what he has to endure from his mom. You know, you had to have brought a little bit of yourself into this, I would think. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the scenes, I I just thought like, oh my God, I, I went like, this is what, you know, the arguments I have with my mom and with my family. And it's, you know, it's it's very, you know, very relatable, very universal as well. Um, Yeah, it you know, it's, Remember Anthony was telling me when we were doing, you know, the the argument scenes, his sister would would walk away that because she would get reminded of 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 <laughs> when that happened. And um, you know, it, it it's it's really, really close and intimate, you know, movie. And I, I just feel like it can really bring people together. Yeah. Um and it's really important. Um yeah, I, it's just so you know, working with Yuna is, is such a pleasure, and she's she's so talented. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, like the, the, it was her first time as well. I was like, oh my god, like there's no way. Like, and it, you get to work with Anthony on screen too, yeah. right? You know, I, but but in a little heads there, and on your part, not so much on his. <laughs> I feel like what what really helped the chemistry between us three was that was the fact that we had so much weight on our shoulders during the during the the shoot, and all this pressure, and and just the. I I don't think we know knew well you and I knew at the time, but it was, it was also like a sense of passion, yeah. um, to carry out, um, yeah, you know, and the fact that it was so relatable to me, um, yeah, I just feel like that really helped. Oh I, yeah. yeah, I'm sure. You know, Anthony, I didn't I didn't know that I was going to need a couple boxes of Kleenex watching this film. My goodness, you know, and I, I it really really got me the the scenes in Korea, um, particularly at the end of the of the shoot of the film. What was that like for you to to shoot there to to be a part of that and and just wow wow just just fantastic really so that town is actually where my grandfather's from um he was born and raised there uh my grandpa you know that town is still inhabited but it, all the people that live there are distant relatives of mine um and so that mountain actually belongs to my uncle or like it's been passed down generation after generation and so i've been hearing stories about that town for years my whole yeah. life I've, I've gone and visited there and i have fond memories of that part of the country and um you know the grave that we shot at that actually is my great grandfather um 
actually great great grandfather. Um, yes, yes. Nonetheless, there's a there's an actual personal connection to the to the to the to that part of the world into that space, um, and so as a result, we I knew what the space was going to be like. I knew the energy that the space brought, and um, I knew how I wanted to end it. Um, and the actors and everyone who worked on that on those days, they they all knew what it meant to me. So they all had a, uh, an appreciation and a respect for what we were doing and where we were doing it. Um, and so that those final few scenes, there's that sequence of getting up there. Yeah. Um, we did one takes. We were just doing one takes. Oh my God. Wow. Because really, we were trying to get there for sunset. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. We had to, we were at the mercy of the sun setting. Yeah. Um, and so we didn't have any time to waste. The actors knew what they were doing. They were prepared. Um, and by that point, we'd been working on this thing for months. And so yeah. it there was no direction needed. It was both Yoon and Ethan. I, you know, I, I, I told them, I was like, you can't do anything wrong because whatever you do is what the character would do at this point. hundred percent. Yeah. And so, you know, I gave them minimal direction. Um, and they all, they both knew where this yeah. was headed. And yeah. So we would do one take and I would, and I would watch just, I would be so immersed watching this. And then I would say to my DP, I say, that's good. Let's, let's go. And he goes, you, you like, you sure you don't want a second one? You know, you sure you don't want a safety? I was like, I don't want to, I don't want another version of this moment. Yeah. makes complete uh, sense. Yeah, yeah. I just, I yeah. want to know that this happened once and once only. And the actors experience it as though it was a real thing because it, it only, ha it happened in real time and it yes. happened only once. It wasn't rehearsed. It wasn't talked about. It wasn't repeated. Yeah. Uh, and so then by the end, you know, because it was all shot in chronological order, by the time we shot that final, fine, that, well, not the second to last scene, technically. Yeah. I didn't know what we were going to do. I just knew that she was going to do what she does. And then I was, you know, two feet from Ethan, just watching, just, you know, like tears rolling down my eyes. Yeah. And I, and I remember just saying, Ethan, touch her. Uh. <laughs> and then it was like, do this and then do this. And you can hear me whisper if you listen, like you can actually hear me whispering uh, just actions. And then they just, they just did, did it. Did and it's beautiful. No, it's beautiful. I mean, Ethan, for you to have been there to be a part of that. Come on. I don't think you're ever going to be able to top that experience. No, <laughs> it's all downhill. <laughs> Literally, it's all downhill after that. Yeah, yeah. You had nowhere else to go. No, I'm teasing. But honestly, um, you know, that's kind of exhilarating, too, to be able to shave your head. Oh, that was that was I've never done that before. Yeah. Um, I, I thought, you know, because my hair was so dead from, you know, I put my hair in the, the, the dying blonde. I was just like, oh, this is going to be a relief. I can like, you know, have a fresh start with my hair. Um, but I, no one ever told me how, how hard it was having a, a <laughs> yeah, itchy, head, itchy uh, 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 scalp burn. Like I didn't, I didn't look on scalp burn. I was, and then um, showers were quick, though. Like, yeah, isn't it the best i know i just cut my hair from like it was really long oh it's the best <laughs> i just like dab I can relate i can relate well listen guys I, I really thank you so much for your time today um anthony my god like honestly i i don't even know what else to say it's just an absolutely exquisite movie i just absolutely loved it and you deserve all the accolades you're getting for it honestly it's it's brilliant congratulations to the to the oh, both of you thank you Thank you. Have a good one, take guys. Care, okay, take care. Bye-bye.